let's discuss. I get the question all the time, Whitney, you're a college student. Correct. How do you find so much time to read? Might I clarify this is actually a question I would get more often last semester because this semester I have been dying. So yeah, it's true that last semester I would still read an average amount of books per month that I used to read in high school, which was like eight to 10 books. I could do the same this semester and arguably I have more time to read more this semester, but I am incredibly lazy and I have two more seasons of Parks and Rec to finish. So. so I wanted to come to you today with a video to give you tips on how to read more at college. These are tips developed and tested by yours truly. Some of this advice is questionable, but if you're devoted to reading more, you might give it a listen. So reading at college, I think I might mention up front, I'm an English major at college. I take 15 hours per week. I have an internship at the writing center and I do YouTube as my job. So that's kind of my day to day, how busy I am. This might end up becoming an impromptu what to expect when you're expecting going to college. Something that I've always said about college and something that I will continue to say, even though some people have told me it's wrong, you have a lot of free time at college. It it might not seem like it and I'm privileged to be an English major where I ha don't have ridiculous tests I just get to write essays all the time I'm an English major and I have so much stinking free time at college I just choose to spend it napping and sitting in bed manage 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 your time if you devote half an hour to reading per day like before bed first of all what is bedtime in college <laughs> so that's usually why I don't read before bed because I'm just up doing whatever until I'm exhausted and go to sleep I'm really bad with time management, but if I did time management, really make a schedule for your day. Say, okay, I have class, then, then, then. I have this homework for this, this homework for this, this meeting here, blah, 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 whatever you need. Squeeze reading in there. Write it into your agenda. If you give it a physical place in amongst everything else that you're doing throughout the day, it becomes sort of an integral part of your day. And in a way, it's like giving yourself a break. Schedule 30 minutes of reading between a meeting and doing homework. Like, give yourself some time to wind down, relax. My next advice bleeds into that, which is when you have free time, this thing, your cellular device, get rid of it. <laughs> the reason why I don't read as much and why I've only read one book this month is purely because I spend my other time on my computer or on my phone. Take the time that you would normally be on your phone or on your computer or doing whatever social media technology and devote that instead to having a book in your hands. You would be surprised how much reading you get done when you decide to pick up a book rather than your phone. And it should be inserted here that you should never want to force yourself to read. But if you truly want to read more, choose your book instead of your phone because that's mostly where the issue lies is we see this as a funner and grander opportunity than this even though i love this to death and i've been reading this since january because i don't want it to end i look at this every day and i go you know what i'm so close to beating level 74 of best fiends let's do this while i poop instead of this which kind of brings me to my next point bring your books everywhere you go it's college you have a backpack bring your book to your classes bring your book to your meeting bring your books in the hall Bring your books to the bathroom. Bring your books to the dining hall. Bring your books to your bedroom. Bring it everywhere because in any downtime you have, once again, downtime you would spend awkwardly on your phone like, oh, the professor's not here at the classroom to unlock the door. Let me pretend to text someone. No, read a book. Sasha Allensberg Snapchatted me. I hope it's Fraser. Oh, it's not. Where was I? <laughs> if you get out of a class early and you have 20 minutes before your next class, hey, that's like 10 pages. The little chunks of reading really add up. And if you're not the type of person that reads like very intermittently and you only get two pages here, one page there, five pages here, eight pages there, two pages there, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just kind of what works for me is whatever pages I can get and whatever free time I have, good. If you're someone who likes to keep your books in pristine condition and you refuse to put it in your backpack, get over it. You're not gonna be able to read a lot if you are making sure your dust jackets don't get dinked in your backpack. <laughs> this next piece of advice, I'm gonna apologize in advance for. I might get some emails from concerned mothers telling me to delete this video. But it's the number one thing that works for me and I feel like 
if I'm gonna be honest, let's go for it. Sometimes I read instead of doing homework. Sometimes I prioritize picking up a book instead of doing the things that actually need to get done. Does this mean I stay up till 6 a.m. doing the things that need to get done? Yeah, but at least I got to page 400 in Crooked Kingdom. Sometimes just for the hell of it, indulge yourself. Obviously don't decide to procrastinate and read the day before a massive test, but if you're feeling down and you just don't have the mental capacity to do your homework, just treat yourself. Pick up your book instead. It's not gonna hurt you to read instead of doing your priorities once in a while. So when people ask me, how do you read so much in college? The genuine answer would be, I read my books for leisure instead of reading my books for class. And I still got a 4.0, so it's fine. My last tip is truly the game changer, which is audiobooks. If automatically you just took five steps back and you were like, I don't do audiobooks, we, we don't mesh, it's not gonna happen. That's what I thought. I told myself, I'm I'm not an audio learner, I can't do this, I opt out, where's the exit? But then I tried it and I love them. <laughs> Audiobooks are just a great time filler. Once again, it's like when you have two minutes before class, when you're doing this, when you're doing that, and you just have little bits of time in between. When I think about the times that I would listen to an audiobook, I sort of recommend it like any time that you would turn on your iPod and listen to music, use your audiobook instead. So this would be like when you're cleaning your house, when you're exercising, when you're on a commute in a car, when you're walking into class. Literally some days I just lie in bed and play Best Fiends while listening to an audiobook because it's that type of day and I deserve it. I would highly recommend listening to a memoir first or a nonfiction book just because those feel like it's a friend like whispering in your ear. They're adventures and sometimes with audiobooks it can go in one ear and out the other especially if it's like a massive complex world. So that's what I would recommend. Knit yourself a sweater with your audiobook playing in the background. Clean the dishes that have been in your sink for a week. Go work out at the gym for the first time and embarrass yourself pressing buttons on machines thinking they're not working but in reality you have to step onto them in order for them to start up but you're still sitting there pressing but also not sponsored by Best Fiends. I jokingly downloaded Best Fiends because I was like okay everyone's promoting this game like it's gonna be so annoying. I'm addicted. But with that being said, that's in my general overview of how I would recommend reading more at college. It really all depends on how inspired you are and how motivated you are to do this because if you're just thinking, eh, me need to read more, you gotta be in it to win it because college is back-breaking and if you don't carve time out for yourself in your day to read you're not gonna get it done so throw your laptop out the window throw your 10 page essay due tomorrow out the window and just get to reading hope this advice helped you clearly some of it's to be taken as a joke because I don't want you to actually throw your homework out the window homework is important just remember to take a little me time if you need it if you need a little break from all the stress Half an hour of reading isn't going to hurt you. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this advice. Let me know if you have any other advice or questions or you want to hear more about college. Goodbye!